What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network, where all men and boys are welcome and our issues treated with the respect that they deserve, where excellence is our goal and our enemies are called out by their names. Place to remind you that you are loved, that you do have intrinsic value, and to suggest that you do yourself no harm. Today, fellas, I want to talk to you about a situation that's pretty much going viral over the internet for the past few days. A Detroit man has been sued for $10,000 by a woman he went on a date with for what she refers to as emotional distress. They went on one date, fellas. I don't know where he met this woman. And he should have left her where he found her. Because she's an <laughs> absolutely amazing example of the absolute bottom of the barrel. Human garbage. Walking upright. This woman says the fact that he planned a date for her, that she decided to go on. Fell on the date of a deceased loved one's birthday caused her so much emotional distress that she's suing him for $10,000. I want to discuss this for a minute in a different way because this, this subject has been covered by several other content creators and God bless them. I'm grateful for them. And I'm glad they gave their take, but they haven't heard mine yet. And that's why you guys are here. You see... Most people have this, have focused on the fact that she was absolutely belligerent on the court case, which was filmed by Zoom, possibly because of, you know, big bad Rona restrictions. YouTube doesn't like to spell the word out properly. They get mad about that. But, you know, the big bad Rona, they made all our lives hell for the past two years. Where they are, it's quite possible that they still have those Rona restrictions in place. And so they had to have this trial via Zoom. So the gentleman was sitting there befuddled, couldn't believe what was going on, thought the case would have been thrown out like it should be. And he's completely within the realm of sanity to think so. The, the, everyone else has talked about how absolutely belligerent and completely useless she revealed herself to be by the way she addressed the judge who told her how in error her case was. This woman, and I, I'm going to link it down below so you can see it for yourself if you haven't already, but she's trying to school the judge on what perjury is. She's telling the judge that the man perjured himself when it's obviously the case he had not. She, a woman named Kushante, that was his first red flag. That's your first red flag, my bro, because it's enough blame to go around here. That was, your, that was your first red flag to lead this chick exactly where you found her. But anyway, getting ahead of myself. She's telling the judge over and over again like a belligerent child that she knows what perjury is and not to insult her intelligence. This woman who... She's saying this to a man who's not only been a lawyer and is now a judge, which means he had to pass the bar. This is the type of woman that gets thrown out of bars. There's no comparison here. Her disrespect for the judge and the judicial system was well on display. Her disrespect for men was also on full display. Her disrespect for black men in particular. This is why this hits home for me because as you guys know, I am a black man, but we don't, hide behind barriers here, but we do express and acknowledge the reality. This is a woman who was raised in the scorong and independent vein. So scorong and independent, she's actually too stupid for her own good. Now, others have said, and I agree, I don't disagree with this assessment, that she should have been cited for contempt for her behavior. And again, when you see the link, you'll see why Everyone and myself has been saying that should have exactly been a warrant out for her arrest. But I'm going to go a step farther with this. And this is what I haven't heard too many content creators talk about. And this is why you guys are here. I want you guys out there who are dating. For you guys that are young, in high school, just graduated. You guys 
brand new, fresh out of boot camp, fresh out of A school, fresh out of tech school, the military. You guys that are freshmen, sophomores, maybe juniors in college. You guys that are hitting the clubs a lot. You're on Tinder. You're on Bumble. You're on Hinge. You're on all these places. And you're trying to meet these women because you want to do what you want to do. I get it. But the fact that this woman, somewhere in that peanut rattling around inside of her skull, she calls a brain, thought it reasonable to sue a man for $10,000 for emotional distress because the date didn't go the way she thought it ought to, should send chills up your spine and make every hair on the back of your arm stand up straight unless you've already shaved them. You ought to be absolutely mortified and on red alert as you enter out for ladies night or the wet t-shirt contest or whatever the case may be that you plan to go with your boys to the mall food court wherever it is skating rink if you're a young guy if you're going out to a, uh, a toga party on campus what, whatever the case may be maybe there's a a base club or a club just outside the navy base or the army base where you guys are stationed at that you guys frequent to meet women and do whatever comes necessary you need to be careful, fellas, because the fact that the, the court system didn't throw this out, the split second it arrived on their desk is terrifying in its implications. Imagine you take a girl out. She's difficult to deal with. Attractive. Nice figure. Pretty feet for you guys are into that. But she's an absolute nightmare to deal with. She's bossy. She's complaining. She's absolutely a, a, a terror to be around. She's rude to the waitress, rude to the valet. You're thinking to yourself the whole time, what the hell did I get myself into? <coughs> I can't wait for it to be over. You, and you disengage however you see fit. You leave a leader there. You finish the date and drop her ass off. Never call her back. In. Whatever you think is the right thing to do after having gone through such a miserable waste of your time attention and money and you get a, a summons in the mail suing you for ten thousand dollars because she didn't enjoy herself gentlemen if this case isn't thrown out into the dustbin of history it's going to be the first of many dominoes to fall it's going to kill what's left of dating in this country and here in the west if women can sue us for not enjoying themselves on a date. I see a great many men, especially you high earning men out there. You worked your ass off. You built a business up from nothing. Or few who have a traditional nine to five, you've climbed that ladder up to the tip top. And you're the best there is at what you do and you make a damn good living as a result of it. Guys like you and guys who might not even make as much as you are going to look at this thing and say, okay, that could have been me. Sometimes dates go great. Sometimes not so much. Now imagine, rather than the awkwardness of maybe seeing her in public again at some point down the line, that's said she got to go out for a date that one time, you see it at the laundromat, you see it at the store, what have you. Okay, our grandparents dealt with that. Now imagine dealing with that plus the possibility of ending up in court and having to pay damages. Because her little fee fees were hurt and her expectations were lived up to. Gentlemen, I want you to be careful out here. You need not be victimized by the literal human filth. Kushante Short is, and she's just one example of many just like her. I don't want my guys anywhere near such bottom feeders, such leeches for time. And such litigious assholes with breasts. You don't need anything to do with them. Focus on yourselves, gentlemen. Build up your families. Build up your community. Build your portfolio. To give yourself the option to go elsewhere. Quite possibly overseas if necessary. To find a woman who will behave like one. Who will speak like one. And who will be an asset, not a liability to you. Be mindful, fellas, because such a ticking time bomb is waiting for us if we aren't vigilant, if we don't protect ourselves. This, this court system, 
for not throwing that out the split second they got it, did that man and all of us a massive disservice by even entertaining it long enough for it to reach a courtroom. If they won't protect us, gentlemen, we have to do it ourselves. Anyway, that's my time. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I drop a new video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And share this video with a man or a boy, a friend or a family member, a coworker, a shipmate, a platoon mate, a fellow airman, who you think could benefit from what it is we discuss here. Never let your brethren suffer in silence when the truth will set them free. Till next time, fellas. It's the Saving Men's Lives Network. Plenty more to come.